inter-high sports competition between Vinduk Gymnasium and Vinduk High School. These two schools have been and will continue to compete in several sports. Tonight we'll be looking at the first team soccer games, but earlier in the week they did compete in cricket, also in golf, which Gymnasium took, basketball, which the girls from Vinduk High School took, and the boys from Gymnasium took. Now, of course, there's quite a distance between these two schools. History-wise, Vinduk High School being over 100 years and gymnasium around 15 years old all of this of course is broadcasting live on ntv dstv 285 go tv 94 on our facebook platforms my zone and namibian sun as well as youtube to make sure you do not miss any of the action you are with ashwin Mberi. so as we said there's much 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 to play for the soccer first teams playing about 5 p.m. around about and it's going to be so much to look forward to considering the experience of both teams. So we had a chat with the two captains of the teams, Ari Hohad, wanted to find out how they're feeling. Are they anxious? Are they excited? John Pedro, captain of Vinduk Gymnasium and Asha Uavenga, captain of Vinduk High School. Have a look. I'm here with uh, John Pedro, the, the uh, captain of the soccer team. Must be nice to be playing at home. Yeah. Uh, nice, nice to have a home game. Yeah, it's actually my first home game. Actually, we all every time I played, we played at Window High School. So yeah, it's good to play in front of the crowd and in front of everyone to show them what we can do. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the Astra turf as well. It, well, it's a perfect as perfect as it gets um, or is it maybe too hard is it is the surface ideal for soccer is it uh, challenging yes it's actually ideal because when you want to play passing on the ground this is the perfect field to play type um, passing on the ground and that's the type of football we would like to play yeah. okay and uh, so i take it you've got a strong well obviously you will think you would have a strong defense but uh, you have a good good strikers in your team as well yes i'm confident about every player in our team every position yeah and preparation time um, uh, as a team, um, you've got strong individuals, but enough time to get together as a team, enough practice time and enough uh, uh, practice games as well? Yeah, I believe we had enough practice because we practice on the structure of our team, bringing in new players from the school. So I feel like we as a team, we are good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you played in last year's uh, Inter, Inter High? Yes, I did for okay. the under 19s. Yes. So um, uh, last year it was tight. It was penalties and it was a tight when the end. It's, um, I suppose it was put in the memory bank last year and say, but we'll get you again. Yeah, like this year it's actually very personal because I actually want to come into this game and win. I feel like every player in my team also wants to do that. Yeah, and, and especially at home. Yeah, at home, in front of the crowd. <laughs> okay, but all the best, have a, have a great game. Thank you very much. Okay, that's uh, John Pedro, back to the studio. Okay, I'm here with Asha, captain of the Vintuk High School soccer team. It was last year, it was tight. It went to penalties, but you guys won. Um, are you ready for this one uh, again? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much ready for this game because we, we have been working hard and most of us have been playing from different clubs. So we're just going to combine so that we can bring this same ideology together so that we can prevail in the game and win it. Mm. Uh, and preparation-wise, uh, did you have think there was enough time in, in preparing and enough practices, uh, practice games? Yes, we had like two weeks to practice for this game. So which means that this game is very organized and disciplined. So we are going to get the win in the end. Okay. And, and the surface, it is uh, Astra Turf. Um, are you used to playing on the Astra Turf or mostly on grass? Yes, because uh, the previous, before the last Inter High, we also played here and it was not that quite what, it, what we expected because we are used to playing on grass, which is more or less painful because whenever you trip on this, you always go home with a saw or something, but we will try our best to okay. improvise. And maybe just the last question, um, what, what uh, would you maybe say is your strong points? Do you have a strong attacking game or is it a strong defensive or a bit, bit of both? Yeah, we have a bit of both because we have a good goalkeeper. He's, he has also played or, and he has also been in the call for the under-20 national team, which his name is Kadapua and he's quite experienced. And then we have midfielders that also play for, the, for some big teams outside of window and myself as a striker. So we are okay. thread all over. Okay, so you, you enjoy your tall striker and you can 
You're ready for the headers as well? Yeah, I'm ready for the headers and overhead kicks and everything. <laughs> Roger, good luck and all the best and uh, play well. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, back to the studio. So you are still on NTV, DSTV Channel 285, Go TV 94. We are on Facebook as well, bringing to you the inter-high competition between Vinduk Gymnasium and Vinduk High School. Let's have a look at the team sheets for the first team. Of course, you can hear that ambiance. That is a goal from Vinduk High School in the second team, which is currently playing. But looking at the first team soccer boys, we have the captain, John Pedro. Punavita, vice captain, Jaden January. Vamunuka Shirmuye. Tangeni Ipinge. Uyenenisa Varuka. Iyambo Penda. Christy Lumbindi. Linton Lospa. Rocco Christove. Roman Bok. Lemio Africana. Ellen Andreas and Antoine Vidbien being coached by Sylvester Murangi and Ephraim Shihonge. Moving over to Vinduk High School, the first soccer team. Asha Uadenga, Inomasa Kadapua. That's the captain and the vice captain. Jordino Isaacs, Paulvin Amunyela, Recuvera Matundu, Uashiri Iyambo, K. Uarukiyani, Tuaduvirua Toromba. Unoshari Shihero, Lebo Heng, Magidela, Kaisora Njavera, Vashavi, and given Molele Keng, the coach being Peter Balewa. Exciting, exciting game ahead. Now, of course, these teams, these two schools are competing in more than just one sport. Right now, you can check out the basketball. And, of course, concurrently, in America, the NBA is having their playoffs. Of course, you never know which one of these players could make it over there. But certainly at the Inter High, there is everything to play for. boys and girls teams. Um, okay, so we started this program back in 2020. 2020. And then, uh, so what I have right now, um, my first team players, they're all brand new players, my under 16, all my girls, most of them are brand new players. So today was more of a, like, um, a friendly thing and trying to um, promote camaraderie. <clears throat> What's the word? I don't um, know, promote friendship with the um with the and then so now here we are trying to build that, that friendship through sports and then we actually did a good job today my I'm the captain of VIS Windu High School um, basketball team. Um, today we are waiting to see what competition we have. We've been training hard, so I don't know what to expect from the game, but honestly, I just hope that we play with our best and we have fun. Yes. So how, how did you guys prepare for today's game? Um, well, we started off with training, consistent training from mm -hmm. Monday till Friday, and it's every week, so we kept on doing it over and over. Some of the guys started burning out, so yeah. Yeah, so is this your first inter high playing basketball? Uh, no, it's not. It's our second actually. Okay, because so. Because our first was last year mm -hmm. and we beat Tunisian by one point. So this is going to be very intense now. Okay, so what, did, what, what, did, what are you going to do differently from what you did last year? Well, of course, we'll start off by playing proper ball mm -hmm. and also passing properly, making sure our shots make it in. And yeah, otherwise, we just have fun because last. Last year we didn't have fun, so now we have the chance to have fun. Thank you. Come here, move into fun. Come here, brightness. That's why the. Not about you.
My name is uh, Rowan Enchadan. I play for Vindukum. Today we played against VIS for the Inter High. The score was 33-28. It was a very tough game to be honest because we didn't have much time to prepare as a team. We focused on fitness and we didn't expect them to be as strong as they were. So we didn't play to our best potential. But I'm happy with uh, that we actually won our match and we hope to play them soon again. Was this your first time playing Inter High? No, uh, we played last year, for our first time playing for the school mm -hmm. and we, we lost last year actually to VRS by like three points. So it, it feels very good to win this year. Alright, so what was it that you done, you've done differently this year? We focused more on recruiting players mm -hmm. because last year we didn't have enough players. Mm -hmm. So we made sure this year we had a, a full bench to sub mm -hmm. and we focused on individual skill as well as a few team plays mm -hmm. just to catch up with VRS. I'm currently the coach of the under 19 boys, in the gymnasium under 19 boys. They had inter high competition, they went well. Preparation, as yes, I would say, didn't take too much, but we had ample time to prepare. And the outcome of the games is I would give thanks and favor to both teams because both of them participated to expectations higher than we expected. So we share our thanks, our gratitude to the sponsors, the referees, everybody that was involved, and for the support of the sport. We hope basketball will be taken further, especially in schools league. And we are we are basketball. That's the slogan. All right. Kene, ons is van VAS. Uh, ons is hier as een ouwer vandag en woordig en ons ondersteun die kinders hier so uh, vir die in te hoor waar hulle skiet teen uh, gymnasium wat altijd een groot uitdaging is. Uh, ons sit met ongelooflike challenges in die stadium in die sportsoort want dit is een redelike nieuwe sport wat baie gevindig groei uh, en daar is geweldig kinders wat deelneem en uh, uh, op die stadium jou boe wat aangekoppeld word, jou tekens wat aangekoppeld word, jou pads wat hulle opskiet wat aangekoppeld word, is alles een klomp geld. Maar uh, en met die COVID pandemie wat thans bezig is en nog nie heel te mal uitgewerk het nie, uh, is dit nogal een uh, groot uitdaging om uh, aan so'n sport deel te kan neem en vir die kinders ook. Maar weer eens, het bly lekker om te communikeer uh, en kan deelneem 
en dit is weer een nieuwe jaar en ons vat hem ten volle in. Ons loop met hom. Hi, my name is Bertrand Wickley. I am from Ventuk High School in grade 9 and we just shot here against Ventuk Gymnasium and I shot at 287 out of 300. Uh, how long have you been doing archery? This is my fourth year in archery. Okay, what are some of the challenges that you face doing archery? Challenges is most of my competitors like from CRAs and Ventuk Gymnasium were also strong and yet some schools are very strong, like it's hard competing against them and you're almost you want to try and get the Namibian teams. And yeah, it's not not easy to get in there. Uh, some of your achievements? I was Golden Boy 2019 for 31 gold medals a year. And then last year I achieved Best Archer of Best Archer um, in Namibia and this year I'm also the Best Genesis Archer. Hello, my name is Aneska Volker. I'm currently in matric and I am the captain of the archery team. Uh, tell us a bit about the challenges as well as the achievements that you've had. Well, presently I've been doing archery for about three years. I can't say I have many achievements since I started like a week before the COVID pandemic hit, but it's been a challenge to practice archery during the pandemic, but I think I've achieved a lot since I'm a decently well shooter. Okay, I do look f what do you look forward to in today's match? I look forward to having fun with the VIS archers. I don't think it matters much who wins, we should just enjoy ourselves. Well, thank you. Welcome. Hi, my name is Sunel Weekly. I'm in Ventic High School and I'm in grade 11. I've been doing archery for four years now. Um, so I'm shooting for Ventic High School and we have, we're shooting Inter High now and we have a few competitions coming up like this weekend there's a competition in Stumpreet where some of our learners will be participating and some not because they'll be attending the Inter High. Um, what are some of the challenges that you faced with doing archery? Well there's a lot of te technique involved like that you need to learn and it's like really easy to um, um, learn a bad habit and then it's really hard to like learn it off so you have to get like your te technique perfectly. And some of the achievements that you've had? Um, I've been in the Namibian team two years. Unfortunately, I don't, did not make it this year, but we have a few um, VI students that did. Uh, what do you look forward to uh, for the match that you have today? Uh, well, it's just, it's fun to do our training and we enjoy it. So, yeah. And the animal run will be fun. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Dixon Vanberg, the interim coach of Fenwick High School First Team Cricket. Okay, and um, how has the team been doing so far? Well, we did decently okay from, from what was expected of us to, to do. Uh, it's, it's quite a young team, there are a lot of great eights, nines, um, and um, a lot of inexperienced players, but uh, they're pulling well together and uh, they've put a decent total on the, on the scoreboard, and uh, I'm sure they're happy to go and defend uh, what they've put on. Okay, and how has practice been going that led up to the game today? Well, we've, we've been uh, quite fortunate to have an opportunity to practice also this field yesterday, uh, just, just so that the boys also get acquainted to the, to the environment and the surroundings at United Cricket Ground. So we're excited and we're thankful for the opportunity for Vinic High School and Vinic Gymnasium to be able to play against each other. Okay, and how do you think the game is going to go today? It was obviously a fun game, it was a big TFC, but it will be better. Okay, yeah, and um, as a captain of the span, how do you think the first span is going to be in the VIS? The game that you play is actually good for the game, it's good for the game, it's not good for the game, it's not good for the game. 
Mae'n adlynu mwy to opgenu yn medl y sarach e sa'r ddeis o'n i ddeud sa'r ar y baeth ar y rhan. Ok. Sa'r baeth bydd y sa'r ddwn i ffyrn i dwi'n gwmws. Ac e'n sgherad, lytar e'n gysi wyf afrechter fa fyndig yn naas ym sy'n eerste cricket span i Robins. Ons het nou tegen een WIA sy'n eerste span gespeel. Ons het die wedstrijd met 10 paakjes gewen. Hulle het die lood gewen, eerste gebed. Hulle het vere geloopjes gekry en hulle 20 ouwers. Ons het hem uitgebouw in die 19.4 ouwers. Toe kry ons het met ons opening spaar, hulle het Loendro en Durkie alkeen paar loopies gekry, toe kry ons dit so in die derde 3.4 ouwers. En ja, ja, is het baie goed gedoen, goed begin, met die bed, mooi recht het gespeel, en hulle het een baie jong span, wat nog baie lang gaan speel, so as hulle, as alle saam goed uitwerk, met die coach wat nou raas dieks in, en allemaal wat betrokke is daar wat inkoop in die systeem, kan hulle nog verder goed doen vir hulle self, en ons is baie blij vir die wen, Ons het een goeie begin gehad vir die oefenweek en alles. En daar hoor is nog paar dag, so ons hoop om allemaal by die rugby en om by die hockey te sien ondersteun. En ja, baie dankie vir die geleentheid om enigszins te kon cricket speel en sport te kan doen in hierdie tyd. Ok, en dit is dan in jou eerste span sy laaste in te hoor. Gaan hierdie ons verlang? Ja, ons het so paar, ons het so paar met tricks wat nou ons bykie gaan verlaat. Hulle kom hulle lang pad, ruime tyd, hulle speel al van graad 8, graad 9 af, speel hulle al eerste span. So, dit is nou hulle laaste in te roer, ja, dit is maar vir hulle ook een bitterpil om te slik. Hendrik al wel iso. Ek dink die ene sin. Ons is baie happy met die game. Die bowling het baie goed gegaan, ons het allemaal in die span kans gegeen, so 8 bowlers, 2 over elk. En ek is baie happy met die bowling. Hulle het hulle restrikt na 40 toe. Batting wise, dit was een vinnig enigie, maar ons het het deurgesit, geen weekends verloor die, maar op die ouwe ende het ons die wend deurgekruis, so dit is wat saak maak. Nou julle het in een baie jong span gespeel, hoe denk julle het die ouwens van WIS gedoen? Hulle het hulle het daar uitgedoen, ek denk hulle sal voor in die paar jare wat kom sal hulle span baie verbeter, maar ja, ek denk hulle het een goeie stepping stone, jangsters, klomp jangsters in span. En die is dan nou julle sy laaste interhoor van julle sy skoolhoopan, hoe voel julle daarhoor? Dit is nogal sad, maar ach wat, ons het een wen, so het maak het altyd beter. En ja, ons kyk maar wat ons die kriket gaan. Ok, gaan julle nog verder speel na skool? Ja, dat is goed. Ok, dankie julle. Ek speel vir VAS oudskoolhede by die cricket. Ok, en hoe denk jy het VAS so ver gedoen? Ja, ek denk dit is vir ons allemaal een baie lekker dag om al die oudskoolhede weer by mekaar te kom en net een slag weer die die bonde te bou en saam te speel. Van die oudse 13 jaar laas enigszins cricket gespeel, so het is lekker om net allemaal weer saam te wees. Ja, nou jy is een nationale cricket speler vir ons cricket span. Hoe voel het om dan nou net met jou maatse game of so te speel? Ja, dit is moet sê, dit is baie lekker, dit is geen druk en dit is nie so professioneel soos wat ons speel op die vlakkie. Dit is lekker, lekker rustig en ja, ons geniet het net rarig, dus jy kan net daar uitgaan en jou self ekspres. Ok, nou denk jy daarom, jy ouwens is daarom nog fiks genoeg om dit te doen? Ja, daar is een paar wat elke bykie moet werk en die van hulle fiks uit, maar daar is een paar ouwens wat verbaas op een oud dag, lyk hulle nie te sleg he. Ok, baie dankie. Hallo, my name is Norbert Manjande, I'm the umpire of the games today. At the moment it's the Indonesian old boys. Uh, playing against VIS Old Boys. 
Okay, and how did the old boys do today? Uh, well, so far, uh, it's, it's it's actually a good game. Uh, Vintage Gymnasium is better first. They scored uh, 160 odd, and then it's obviously now up to uh, VIS old boys to chase it down. Okay, and how do you think how who's gonna win? Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a it's a good score. It's a pass score on this field, so it depends. Uh, whatever. Yeah. If Gymnasium feels well, feels well, they will also win the game. If VIS decides to bet properly as well, to bet well, they will. They've got a chance of winning the game as well. Okay. Uh, now it's getting a little bit dark as well. The lights are on, so it's it's going to be a little bit tricky. But yeah, game yeah. is on. Okay. And can you also just um, tell us a bit more about yourself? You're a cricket coach yourself with an academy. How long have you been in the cricket industry? Yeah, I've been in the, I've I've been involved with coaching since 2013. I think, yeah, since 2000 and 2012, 2013, uh, up until now I've been involved, I've coached Namibian teams as well, uh, now I'm, I've got my own academy, it's CCD, and I'm coaching the CCD Premier League side as well. Okay, yes. so overall do you think that the old boys, they still have it in them? Yes, yes, the game is still evenly poised, so anyone who plays well from here will win the game. Thank you. Yes. Goedenavond allemaal, ik is uh, Roan Hoog en ons speel vanavond uh, Old Boys Cricket Team United. Oké, okay. so jylle gaan nou um, die, field, die field team wees. Um, okay. Wat denk jy, hoe is jylle se kans is ver? Ek denk ons kans is goed, ons het, ons het in die dag gebed vir die lichte by United is nie so goed nie. En um, ons, is, ons is gereed, ons, ek denk die geest loop hoog. En um, ons is allemaal weer blij om mekaar te sien, al is het een paar jaar terug. Ek denk dit is wat, wat saak maak, is om weer by mekaar te kan uitkom en ach, sommer net lekker te kan lach. Oké. Okay. Hallo Gerard Erasmus, ik ben de manager van die Old Boys van VAS. Um, ja, het is altijd een uh, baie lekker game um, om te komen speel. Baie mooie faciliteit bij United en om een nachtgame te speel met die lichte is altijd baie uh, speciaal. En ja, die camaraderie is alles waar we het gaan. Um, die camaraderie tussen die twee spannen is altijd baie lekker en, en goed. En allemaal ken mekaar so, ja, ek moet sê, cricket 4 in einde van die dag um, bij hierdie wedstrijde en het is goed om weer die vriendskappe te bou en om uh, klompelle van van, uh, van school af weer te sien en in ons geval is het um, definitief een ding van ons wil klomp mannen van verschillende jaargroepen terugkry um, om my alumni sterk te kry en my, um, jy weet, my backing vir jou school sterk te kry so is nog wel lekker om voor mij als een jonger man van 26 of so wat nou 10 jaar uit die school uit is om um, partij van die mannen te sien wat al jy weet ouwer is en 38, 40 is en, om net by hulle te leer en af te, af te smeer van hulle af. Um, ja, so is altijd de bitter lekker dag in die jaar en uh, ons het het vanavond dier eens baie geniet. I'm Sane Kotrite, I'm the teacher of the RS quiz team. Um, we've been doing this for three years now and it's really a lot of fun. What we do to prepare this year is we had a lot of questions and every break time we sit together and we ask questions just to, for fun. I'm very proud of our team. Last year they won. This year was a draw but they were very competitive and they had a lot of fun. And so I'm very proud of both my teams, the junior and the senior. Hi, my name is Tari Samuelson. I'm in grade 12 in Vintage Gymnasium. This is my first year doing the general knowledge quiz. I'm in the senior team and I'm really looking forward to seeing what VIs can bring to the table and some fun competition. Hello, my name is Beatrice Turner. Um, I'm in Vintage High School as you can see and I am 
currently leading the AS Levels in grade 12. Um, we just participated in the uh, general knowledge quiz. Um, I did so last year. Uh, luckily, VR is one last year. Unfortunately, this year we tied, but you know, things happen. You can't win every year. Um, and it's good if we, uh, we share the points a little bit between the years. So overall, it was such a fun experience. I'm sad that I can't do this again next year, but it was a wonderful way to end, um, to end three years of taking part in this quiz. Good day, I am Ms. Liesl Fultgieter and I'm a teacher from Vintage Gymnasium. I helped Ms. Bok prepare for the general knowledge quiz that is taking place right now at four o'clock. What the quiz is about is we just basically want to test the general knowledge of our learners as well as their SS learners. We have a junior team, they have a junior team, and then we have a senior team and they have a senior team. So they all have the same um, categories which includes uh, science and world heritage sites and you know some surprise questions as well and I'm really looking forward to seeing how much our learners actually know because I think it will surprise us so I'm very excited for us to start. How many bones are in the human body? <laughs> I'm Isaiah and we are from Vintage Gymnasium. So basically this is our sixth annual um, Inca High event. So it's where VIS and Gymnasium we compete against each other in the sports that the schools have. So today we will be playing hockey against our gymnasium teachers, but it will only be the middle experience. Yes, so like Kristen said, we're going to be playing a game against the teachers. Um, we're very excited to just see where their skill levels are and how we all play together and if some of them can play and who has been playing hockey basically. Okay, and do you think that your team will perform better against the teachers? I definitely think our team will perform better against the teachers. What skills do you think your team has that will teach us that will make you win? Well, of course. I think we have quite a few players who do play hockey weekly and we are more fit and we are younger and more faster. <laughs> are there any um, technical challenge that you are afraid of coming into going into the game? technicalities that you think will make your team slightly weaker? Okay, probably because we've never played together as a team before, since it's a mixed group of team, that could probably affect how we play, because we don't know how the other teammates play, what that will be consistent for so. And communication between the team. That would probably be That's it, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Sean McLaughlin, I'm also a teacher at the high school and this is one of our highlights of the year to play against our own learners. It just builds a lot of spirit for the upcoming days um, of the entire.
Yes, so from a point of view, from playing the game, I think we can expect a lot of competition from the learners, especially because we have a few first team players that usually never backs down from the challenge. We so, did limit them. Yeah. Only, only three at a time on the field. <laughs> Just to prevent them from dribbling all over the place. But I think it's going to be good uh, sportsmanship, it's going to be good fun, it's going to be healthy fun, and I think it's going to be just overall good spirit, like Charles said. Yeah, and looking forward to the game. We've got a good goalie, so hopefully no goals against us. Hopefully you can't see the box when you see the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so we just want to know, uh, compared to last year, what do you plan on doing different with the RPS? Oh, I think just have more fun. Last year we didn't really, last year was our first time doing it and we didn't really know what to expect. Now we know it's just one whole fun thing. So I think all the teachers, we've got a lot more teachers this year taking part. And so was, it, was it a struggle gathering the teachers to play against the learners? Uh, no, I think when the, when the uh, teachers here get a chance to take on the kids, they, they'll take it. And it's like, it's also fun because we ask the kids like, who's going to plan it? Like, yes, we are going to be there. Like, okay, ma'am, we come. So they also look forward to it and it's a good highlight for them as well with everything happening and the stress of the exams and everything. So I think it's a good outlet for them. Yes. Yeah, we, the eyes is great to our team and we just play hockey against the teachers. This is our annual inter high against winning gymnasium. The teachers played a very competitive game. Totally. <laughs> Not nice here, but we really enjoyed it. And so far, the fears is there. I really hope you guys take the cup this year, but whew, yeah, I'm out of breath. <laughs> How did you prepare for the hockey um, game with the teachers? Honestly, I just came and I was like, okay, so you have to hold your stick. I asked a lot of my teammates, how am I supposed to hold the stick and watch the videos? Don't tell the teachers. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that was the, literally the only way. Five minutes before the game, I just hit the ball a little bit and that was basically it. <laughs> Thank you. This game for us is all about fun, getting to know the learners, a bit of spirit before the Inter High. This is tradition for us, we do it at our Inter House Athletics as well. And our teacher's game plan is just to go out, have fun, and we hope that our students have the same experience. Dit was anders daar wat ik hier al gedoen het in zwem. So, wat anders te maken het is, ons het 16 lengtes gehad hier jaar in plaats van 10 als al die andere jaren. So, dit was begin meer challenge en de mens moes begin meer fix gewees het. So, ek moes begin meer in die zwembad ingegaan het, wie meer gaan zwemmen. Maar ja, ek het begin vandag wie hier dood gegaan, omdat ek hier erg gewoond was om saam met al die andere zwemmers te zwemmen. Maar het was nog steeds lekker. En dan misschien volgend jaar, dan kan ik die hard lopen. Ik is Arco Ogestein, ik ja, is graad 10. Uh, hier is mijn tweede jaar ik doen. Uh, laatste jaar was het anders geweest omdat ik uh, dus op echt iets gedaan heb, niet op pad fietsen niet. En ons het uh, meer, was het meer laps gereden, soos 4 kilo, maar dan 6 laps van alles gereden. Hier jaar is het 10 kilo van 1 stuk. En wat moeilijk was voor mij was die laatste bal die zo. Hij heeft mij een beetje gebreken op je einde. En die wind was bij je. Ik was teruggekomen, hij was vooraf geweest. Maar het was heel raar geweest, ik was teruggekomen. Oké, okay, so gaan je volgende jaar weer Ja, weer volgende jaar is het, wil ik het weer doen, die fietserij. En so, wat ga je anders er doen volgende jaar? Ik ga, ik wil, ik ga weer fietserij, maar ik wil harder oefenen om dit te verbeteren, om die, hoe het voor was mij, om te winnen volgende jaar. Hello, 
I am Kieran Pretorius, I school in Vintage Gymnasium and I am the runner for the juniors, junior boys. Uh, the run, okay, this is a firstly it's a team triathlon. Um, oh, there's a runner coming. Um, the team triathlon um, was a, the running part was a 5k and it was not a very technical um, route. It was mainly just a bit of uphill. The main technique which was required is just staying on your toes the entire time. That was basically it. Um, how I managed it? Sleep deprived, lots of stress and what else? Determination. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to the Inter High Sports Competition between Vinduk High School and Vinduk Gymnasium happening at Vinduk Gymnasium live on NTV, DSTV Channel 285, Go TV Channel 94, also on the Facebook pages of Namibia Media Holdings, My Zone and Namibian Sun as well as YouTube. It has been an exciting week for these two schools competing in just about every single discipline and right Right now we're about to get into the first team soccer and it is electric looking at the teams over there your captain from Vinduk Gymnasium John Pedro vice captain Puna Vita what a wonderful moment to introduce the two first teams to you today first of all we are calling out Vinduk High School first team Asha Uzenga the captain Inumasa Kazapua, the vice captain. Jordinu Isaacs, Paulvin Amuniela, Biku Vera Matundu, Uachiviri Iyambu, Kai Ua Rukai Yani, Tuas Zivirua Turomba. Unochari Cheru, Lebo Gen, Magidela, Kaisora, Njavera, Wachavi, and Given Molokain. And the coach, we call the coach also to the field, Mr. Peter Baleva. And then the Kudu. Let us give them a big round of applause. Thank you for coming and to watch this wonderful game that's about to start. And now we call Vindup Gymnasium, the captain, John Pedro. The vice captain, Puna Vita. Jaden January. Vamanuka Chirumoye, Tangeni Ipinge, Uchunesiva Zaruka, Iyambu Penda, Christy Lumbindi, Roku Kristavu, Roman Bok, Boys Jackward, Tivikua Urbans, Ria Usurwa, Iku Epi Katipuka, Ellen Andreas, Andreas Kashongwa, and the coaches Murangi and Tionge. And then we call the line. Let us give them another round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to rise for the National Anthem of Vinduk High School. Let us all rise. Everybody on the pavilion, let us rise for the anthems of both schools.
Let's remain standing for the anthem of Bentuk High School, uh, uh, Bentuk Gymnasium. Best wishes for both teams. Enjoy the game. You are at the Inter High Sports Competition between Vinduk Gymnasium and Vinduk High School. Currently about to play are the two first teams. And the atmosphere is electric. Two high schools coming together. Is it just about bragging rights? Is, about, is it about glory? I think we'll be able to see that in the gameplay. Of course, these two schools haven't been able to play during COVID-19. Vinduk High School hadn't played in about five years. And soccer was only introduced to Vinduk Gymnasium about three years ago. However, they are both ready. I was having a chat with the coaches before the game. And of course, if you saw the interviews by Ari, you know that everyone is excited. Everyone is absolutely bringing their best. Vinduk Gymnasium versus Vinduk High School. Just a reminder, the captains and the vice captains from both teams from Vinduk High School. It is Asha Uavenga and Inomasa Kadapwa, who is the vice captain. John Pedro being the captain of Vinduk Gymnasium. And Puna Vita, the vice captain. Looking at the lists over there, continuing with Vinduk High School, you have Isaacs at three, Amunyela at four, Matundu, Iyambo, Uarukiani, Toromba, Shihero, Heng, Magidela, Javera, Vashavi, and Molele Keng. At Gymnasium, we have Jade in January, Shirmuye, Ipinge, Varuka, Penda, Lumbindi, Lospa, Christove, Bok, Africana, and Andreas. Exciting, exciting game ahead of us. Of course, all the school pupils. For them, it's not just a game. It's not just a game, especially on the Friday, you know, with social media, all the conversations will be buzzing, absolutely buzzing. And we understand it is what it is, especially when you bring these two kinds of schools, different histories. Vinduk High School being around 105 years old, Vinduk Gymnasium just over 15 years old. But of course, the football pitch is level and the ball is round. Vinduk Gymnasium already in formation. Vinduk High School still in the huddle. Of course, we are at Vinduk Gymnasium right now. So this is an away game for Vinduk High School. Of course, if you do look at the stands, you realize there's plenty, plenty of support. 
for both teams. You are watching live on NTV, DSTV 285, Go TV 94, on our Facebook pages, My Zone and Namibian Sun, as well as YouTube. Plenty, plenty of places to catch this exciting game. Now, keeping in mind the last time they played last year, Vinduk High School won on penalties. Is there a grudge to settle? Ooh, we're about to find out. And looking at the recent performances of both teams, Vinduk High School was in a 30-team competition. They managed to place fourth. Yes, fourth, without a doubt. That's, uh, that's how they are playing, especially after not having played in about five years. That's actually quite impressive. And uh, looking at Vinduk Gymnasium, they've had some really good, good results. Of course, four of their teams, team members playing for the DTS First Division, trying to make it into the National Premier League. So... There's some experience on the field. Speaking to the coach of Vinduk High School, Peter Balewa, before the game, he said they're a young team. And Vinduk High School kicks off. Of course, nerves still settling in. Good commitment from the gymnasium strikers at the beginning of the game. And it seems to have paid off in some ball possession. Gymnasium still getting control of the ball. Coming in from a throw-in now. That's Vinduk High School. Ooh. That right there could have ended very badly. But you know how it is. It's the beginning of the game. Nerves are everywhere. Once they settle in, I think they'll be able to show more of their formation and the gameplay that the coach has designed for them. Right now, Gymnasium on the attack. And we're out for a goal kick. Oh, this reminds me of high school days. There could not have been better days to come to than the first team games, war cries. I don't know if you noticed the mascots, the kudu for Vinduk High School, the lion for Vinduk Gymnasium. Of course, in the wild, we understand who wins that battle. But on the soccer pitch, it could go differently. Vinduk High School playing some composed football, aside from, you know, letting the ball out at that, at that line as Gymnasium comes to throw in the ball. Both teams still settling into the game. All right, so we're going to have a free kick. Gymnasium having the first opportunity to get the ball into the 18 area. Counts about four bodies in the area. Of course, much more blue shirts. This is not the time to concede a goal, but anything can happen. Free kick is off. Good header out. Unfortunately, it does not materialize into a counter-attack. Not just yet. Solid midfield. Solid midfield defending. Not allowing the ball to get too much momentum from Vinduk High School over there. Now, we're going to have a free kick from Vinduk High School. Their opportunity to gain some ground up field. Ooh, that was a foul quite close to the box. Let's see the referee's decision. The referee has brandished. Nope, not a yellow card. Just his hand up with the card in his hand. <laughs> he did not brandish the card. <laughs> but you can see it right there. You can see it right there. Golden opportunity over here. Can they convert? Naturally, there's going to be more black and red shirts in the box. I'm wondering what seeing the color red looks for Liverpool and Arsenal supporters right now. We can ask them after the game. But surely it's different for these students. 
Okay, Vinduk High School with the corner. With the free kick slightly towards the corner of the field. All right, that one goes over. Still needing to compose himself there. Very early in the game, just over four minutes. Plenty of football to come. Now, as I was saying, talking to the coach, Peter Balewa, that's the coach of Vinduk High School. Vinduk High School is a very young team, but they are not lacking in energy. And energy will be needed. But, of course, in football, you want that blend of energy and execution of strategy. Vinduk High School possession. You are watching live on NTV, DSTV 285, Go TV 94. If you're on Facebook, it's My Zone and Namibian Sun. And if you're on YouTube, it's Namibia Media Holdings. All right, not much materializing over there. The ball swings back into Vindic Gymnasium possession. Decent throw in. They're looking to keep it in the midfield. Struggling to bring it up at this point, Vindic Gymnasium. But of course, we're still just over five minutes into the game as we go for another throw in. Good ball control. Didn't last long. All right, the ball seems to have camped in the middle in the midfield for now. We'll see if any team can start to dominate early in the game. Big kick forward by Vinduk High School straight into the keeper's hands. He's not going to take time clearing that. Straight down to his number ten. Unfortunately, not controlling it as you'd like to, and bring it out for a throw in to Vinduk High School. Quick throw in from Vidic High School. Still Vidic High School position. Quick throw ins from both teams, I have to say. I wonder if that's strategy or the nerves haven't quite settled in. Vidic High School approaching the 18 area. Just outside the box. Ooh, that could have been particularly potent. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Gymnasium bringing up the ball. Solid momentum, but perhaps too much momentum to control the ball. We're out for a throw in Vinduk High School with the ball. Okay, that's going to be a goal kick. Vinduk Gymnasium. Ball team still settling into the game. Ball position, more or less 50-50 at the point. Vinduk High School, of course, getting slightly more than Vinduk Gymnasium right now. Close to a ported attack. Can this turn into a counter-attack? One may be right to assume that they've got a very tightly contested midfield considering how the ball barely leaves the midfield area. So that means the defenders, central midfield, and of course, trying to keep the ball without allowing it to go into the defense. It's a free kick for Vinduk High School. That's the captain, Asha Uadvenga. One of the men to watch in this game, one of the boys rather, <laughs> to watch in this game. This is according to the coach. Many black shirts in the box. Straight into the keeper's hand. Keeper not taking time to clear that ball out into the midfield once again. 
Another stop from that flank. Crossing the ball in. Back to the keeper's hands. Vindok High School. Many black shirts in there. Making some surges forward. Surges forward. Gymnasium not playing too much in the Vindok High School 18 area right now. They haven't been able to get the ball past the midfield as often as they would like to. But naturally, they're working on that. Oh, that could have cost them. And very well may still. Not the most potent defense. But of course, Vindok High School has not been able to convert yet. Neither of the teams have been able to convert. We're still within 10 minutes. Much football to play. The ball is round and the pitch is flat. All right, we're back to the Vindok High School goal. Good touches there from Vindok High School. Good pass into the area. All right, loses possession over there. However, we do have a throw in to Vindok High School. This time it's not a snappy throw in. They're going to take their time, compose themselves. Not managing to cross the ball in just yet. Vindok High School looking for a gap. The ball's crossed in. Composes. Oh, not enough ball control there. Not enough ball control. Doesn't quite compose himself. We're down on a counter-attack. Vindic Gymnasium. Can he cross the ball in? Yes, he does. Is it enough? Ooh, not quite there. But Vindic Gymnasium making a search forward towards the Vindic High School goal. It is absolutely exciting here on NTV. DSTV 285, GoTV 94. On our Facebook pages, it is My Zone and Namibian Sun. On YouTube, it is Namibia Media Holdings. Solid clearance from the Vindic Gymnasium goalie there. That's Vindic High School goalie. Vindic Gymnasium back at the midfield. Many stops happening on that side of the field, particularly from the Vindic High School defensive midfield players there. It seems like Vindok Gymnasium is depending quite a bit on their winged attacks. And Vindok High School seems to have an answer every time. That's going to be a gymnasium free kick. Gymnasium with the ball. Vindok High School. Trying to get control of the ball. Throw in Vindok High School. Risky play by Vindok High School there. And it's showing as Gymnasium gains position close to the box. But that does not come to fruition. Vindok High School bringing the ball forward. Good ball control at the wing there. Solid football dribbling skills. Got to love that. But of course, you do want to keep the ball. Gymnasium to clear the ball right now. Co-keeper seems to have his eyes on the left side of their field, of their attacking field. And that's the direction it goes. And it is out for a throw-in. Vindok High School, another quick throw-in. Just another throw-in. Right next to the ever-so-energetic fans from both schools. Fans, pupils, there's a bit of an amalgamation of both when you're at an inter-high competition. Good ball control in the midfield. They're keeping the ball moving. They cross the ball in. And out it goes.
Vindugaiscu at the goal. He could have taken that shot. He has another chance, and it is a goal from Vinduk High School. Breaking the deadlock. All the attacks have come into fruition. Poor defensive decisions made there by Vinduk Gymnasium. You thought that striker might not have made it, but he had a second chance. Goal, Vinduk High School. Breaking the deadlock. Oh, there's brand new energy in the stands. Bad, bad, bad decision making there from the defender. Vinduk High School, easy conversion, left bottom side of the net. Got to love football. Got to, got to love it. Gymnasium on the attack, close to the goal, not close enough. Will it come out for a corner? Nope. They're going to cross it in. All right. Not much comes out of that. So Vindic High School leads 1-0. Vindic High School being a very young team. They hadn't played in the last five years. But they're showing that energy that allowed them to come forth in the last competition they played, which was about 30 teams playing in the same competition. And they just come off the, the backdrop of COVID-19 without much practice, much experience in that time. But whatever they've been able to do with coach Peter Balewa until now, well, it's paid off from within the first 15 minutes of this game. We have a player down from Vindic Gymnasium. Just getting some medical assistance. That would be the midfielder. Center left midfield. He's got his shoe off. He's going to come off the field. Not sure if he's going to be able to come back in. We'll wait and see. Good sportsmanship there from Vinduk High School. Encouraging the number 11. All right, Vindic High School trying to bring the ball forward. Very composed. We've got one goal. You look back to Jose Mourinho's first initial Chelsea days. One goal would have been enough to turn it into a defensive game. But that's not the case with Vindic High School. It seems like they're still very keen on attacking. Good ball control over there as Vindic High School brings the ball forward once again. It is in the keeper's hands. Gymnasium not making much use of the right wing. And of course, they haven't really been able to cross over as smoothly as they would like to into the 18 area coming from the left side. Vinuk High School has got some very strong right mid midfielders. Gymnasium with an opportunity once again. I don't see many black shirts in the 18 area. One wonders what the coach's strategy is at this point in time. I see three black and red shirts. Plenty blue. A sea of blue, if you will. Gymnasium throws the ball in. Can they bring in a cross? No, good defense there from Vinod High School. Seems to be a little bit of stalling, but we're going to have a gymnasium corner. Looking at the screen right now, counting one, two, three, four, five, six black shirts. Can they capitalize Vinduk High School with more height in the 18 area? Gymnasium with an opportunity to bring the ball back in. And unfortunately, just a little too much juice on the back of that one. So, just over 18 minutes, approaching 19 minutes, our score is 1-0. Vinduk High School capitalizing on the mistake of the gymnasium 
defender who hopefully has a short memory because there's still plenty of football to be played. And of course, if you dwell on your failures, you might not be able to be as impactful as you'd like to be in the future. So short memory, very necessary. Pick yourself up, continue with the game. One gets the feeling that Vinduk High School feels very in control of the game. They are not rushing themselves right now. Good passing in the midfield, as has been evident in the rest of the game. One, two passes. All right, gymnasium close to getting a stop, but Vinduk High School. Beautiful dribbling skill there, but not enough to keep control of the ball. Vinduk High School ball. Not as good a clearance as the Vinduk High School goalkeeper could hope for. Not much support there. But much more support for the blue shirts as they come forward. Pedro crosses while well, he tries to a neat in what pass there. Oh. Vinduk High School brings the ball in. Possibly hoping for a cross. Gymnasium gets their foot on it. Into the stands it goes. <coughs> Vinduk Gymnasium mascots doing their best to get the people going. Those boys on the pitch certainly need something to equalize this game. Many deliberations happening right now. The ball dropped from the referee there. From the high school trying to attack, but nothing comes out of that. Still their possession. <coughs> Gymnasium bringing the ball forward. Not much coming out of that. Ooh, what's the referee's judgment on that? That is a free kick to Vindic Gymnasium. Strong tackle there. <coughs> Gymnasium crossing in the ball. Straight into the keeper's hands. Keeper does not take time to clear the ball. Does he find one of his players? Not quite. But it is still a Vinduk High School possession. We have a flag. Vinduk High School throws the ball in. Will they manage to cross it in? Strong tackle there. Referee close enough. Nothing comes out of that. Just 23 minutes into the game, the score is 1-0 to Vinduk High School. Gymnasium bringing the ball up. Much more composed but not managing to keep possession as much as they would like to. All right, referee. Having some words. 
young man needs to compose himself. Still plenty of football to be played. It's a gymnasium free kick. Phoenix High School not quite securing the ball in the midfield. Gymnasium trying to sustain an attack. Gymnasium getting the ball close to the area. Ooh, good defense there from Vinduk High School. It's going to be a corner to Vinduk Gymnasium. You can see much more confidence in the lads right now. Certainly eager to equalize this game. Is it number 16? Does he cross the ball in? He does, but the keeper gets a hand on it. Gymnasium adamant about their attack. However, losing possession there to Vinduk High School is going to be a throw in. Interesting challenge over there. Ref doesn't call it. Continue playing. Gymnasium, much more confidence in the midfield. Interesting contention over there. It's turning into quite the physical game. Gymnasium with the throw in. Vinduk High School, can they manage a counter attack? Vinduk High School with the ball, close to the 18 area. Gymnasium gets the ball, gets a foot on the ball. All right, so that is half time. Our score is 1 0 to Vinduk High School. They managed to take advantage of a little error by the defender, the number six from Vindic Gymnasium. There's still another half of soccer to be played with these two teams. Interesting thing about Vindic Gymnasium, I was talking to the coach, Sylvester Murangi. He tells me that John Pedro and Puna Vita have been selected for trials for the Kosafa under-19s. It's good to see, good to see. Let's have a look at this instant replay. The number six over there. Good positioning from the striker. You'd think you'd have shot the ball then, but the ball comes back to him, manages to convert in the lower left corner. All right. Beautiful goal from Vinduk High School. We're going to take a short ad break and we'll be back with NTV broadcasting live at the Inter High Competition. Vinduk Gymnasium, Vinduk High School. Adam Tass is coming to Vinduk to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vinduk High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost $200 Namibian and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust.
You are still with NTV, DSTV Channel 285, Go TV 94. You are at the inter high between Vinduk Gymnasium and Vinduk High School. Halftime score is 1 0. The first goal coming from K. Uaru Kuyani, who is number 7 from Vinduk High School, took advantage of a mistake there by the defender. At first, you thought he wasn't going to score the goal. You thought he wasn't going to because he passed the boy at a time and he had an opportunity to take the shot. But I guess the man both trusted his team and, of course, trusted the. Well, we, we could call it divine timing, you know, because he had a chance to take one shot. But by the second time he took it, he managed to convert. The second time he had the opportunity, at least. So, you're still with NTV. We're absolutely going to be broadcasting several sports events. Tomorrow you can expect some rugby, some netball. Today there's hockey, soccer. Very exciting times indeed. The referee has just blown the whistle. As we commence with the second half, Vinduk High School leading Vinduk Gymnasium 1-0. Beautiful goal from K. Uarukuyani. Enunciated that one. I hope I got it right. I'm sure I did. <laughs> so, just reminding you of the experience of these two teams. Vinod High School hadn't played in about four or five years. Of course, COVID-19 compounding this situation. Vindic Gymnasium only started playing football about three years ago. So, it's good to see that they're playing well enough to, to, to at least have four members. There's four members of the Vindic Gymnasium team in the DTS, which is the first division of Namibia. Two of their players, the captain and vice captain selected for Kosafa Trials. We'll see. If that uh, materializes in some goals today, because Vinduk High School, very, very strong team. The last competition they played had 30 teams. They came in fourth. And uh, I'd like to say so far, evenly matched Vinduk High School with the larger chunk of possession. Good control in the midfield. Gymnasium yet to convert. But we have a second half of football to see who will come out at the top. Just a reminder, we're on DSTV 285, Go TV 94. On Facebook, it's My Zone and Namibian Sun. On YouTube, it is Namibia Media Holdings. There is absolutely no reason to miss this live action being brought to you by NTV and My Zone. And we're off. Back into the gymnasium half. We're out for a throw-in. It's going to be a Vinduk High School throw-in. They give us a quick throw-in over there. Gymnasium not quite clearing the ball yet. But managing to secure possession with another throw-in. Ball straight into the keeper's hands over there. Keeper showing a little bit of a limp. One wonders what could have happened. Is he going to be fine for the rest of the game? Does he need medical attention? Just keeping an eye on him right there. As Gymnasium steps up for the free kick. Four players. On the attack, of course, we have to watch for that dreaded offside. High twice, Finnick High School seems to be the slightly taller team here, at least in the box. And the free kick is taken, and the ball seems to be seeking a little more freedom than is expected from it as it goes over the post. All right, seems our goalkeeper doesn't have that same limp he had just now, just before the free kick. Good sign. He's going, to, he's going to pass to his defenders. They're going to compose the ball. Try play this strategy as it seems they have been. They haven't really adapted to the other team's energy. They've been playing their own game. That's Vinduk High School with a throw in now. Pedro. Good ball control. Vinduk High School with the ball in the midfield. 
continuing the attack. Not doing quite enough to get it to the side of the pitch there. Vinduk High School still in control of possession. Vinduk High School bringing the ball up. Not managing to cross the ball through the middle over there. Gymnasium captain, John. Gymnasium captain is down. That's going to be a free kick. That's going to be a yellow card for the Vindog High School player there. Too much of a strong challenge. Just a reminder, captains of both teams, Asha Oa Venga, that is the captain of Vindog High School, John Pedro, captain, Vindog Gymnasium. It is a Vindog Gymnasium free kick. Can Gymnasium equalize? They cross the ball in. Stunning header, just over the top post. Not quite enough, but seeing a lot more confidence from the lads. Gymnasium still with the ball, opportunity to cross it in. Is that a handball? We're going to have a penalty. The referee calls the penalty. Nope. Is that a penalty? Let's wait for the official call. Could be a penalty, could be a free kick. But it looked like he may have touched the lad's hand over there. All right, it's a penalty. The referee did point to the spot. Penalty, Vindic Gymnasium, an opportunity to equalize. Nerves are naturally high. Ball is placed, number eight, John Pedro, the captain, stepping up for the challenge. Vindic High School goalkeeper, sizing up his post. Much composure needed. The balls seems to be more central now. John Pedro with an opportunity to equalize Vindic Gymnasium. And it's a goal! That is a goal from Vindic Gymnasium. They have managed to equalize. That is John Pedro. Solid shot, plenty confidence. Good celebration, rallying the folks around. Let's have another look at that penalty. Moves the ball to a central position. Composes himself. Oh, mid left corner. Got to love it. Expertly taken penalty over there. So, Gymnasium, Vinduk High School, 1-1. Everything to play for. Naturally, there's much more energy in the game now. Crossing by Gymnasium into the goalkeeper's hands. Gymnasium adamant with their attack in this half. But Vinduk High School quelling that attack. Hoping for a counter-attack. That might have been offside. We'll wait for the call. All right, that's an offside call. All right, so the gymnasium goalie is going to bring that ball out. Let's see if something can come out of this play. Throw in gymnasium. 
Finduk High School hoping to control the ball at this point in time. Gymnasium on the attack. Good defense from Vinduk High School over there. But is it good enough to clear the danger? Seems like it is. It is 1-1, Vinduk High School, Vinduk Gymnasium, everything to play for. About 18 minutes left on the game. Free kick in. Vinduk High School composing themselves. Good defense there from Vinduk Gymnasium. As the gymnasium brings the ball back up the field and out the left line. Vindek High School, the captain there, Asha, doing his best to get something out of this play. But gymnasium playing with a lot more confidence. Pedro over there. Good through pass. Pedro with the goalie. Will Pedro score? It is a goal from the captain, John Pedro. He has scored his second goal, proving once again why he is the leader of the troops. Oh, with the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration over there. Stunning, stunning goal. You could see the experience, the composure when it was just him and the goalkeeper. He did not hesitate. Beautiful pass. Beautiful through pass to start that playoff right there from Gymnasium. Look at that. Stunning pass from number 12, John Pedro. Composes himself, converts. Stunning. So, the score is 2-1. The home side taking over the game. They came into the second half with much more confidence. One wonders what their coach Sylvester Murangi told them during the halftime, but it seems to be working. Can Vinduk High School respond? That is the question as we approach the last 15 minutes of this game. Vinduk High School with the kickoff. They are coming straight for the attack, but perhaps could have composed themselves a little better before heading into that attack. But gaining position once again in the midfield. The ball hasn't quite settled yet, bringing it a little back. Tough challenge. Ref says it's legal. Gymnasium composing the ball on the left side of the wing. Number seven. Not quite sure what he was going for over there, but it didn't seem to work out. Interesting times. You're still on NTV 285, Go TV 94, My Zone, Namibian Sun on Facebook, and Namibia Media Holdings on YouTube. Bringing you into high school sports, Vinduk High School, Vinduk Gymnasium. What a way to spend a Friday afternoon. What a fantastic way. Not sure if Viduk High School has time for the theatrics at this time. You're down 2-1. Much composure is needed. And those boys in the black and red shirts are very confident. Number 15 bringing up the ball. Will he be able to cross it in? He composes the ball. Good movement. Crosses the ball in. Oh, not quite enough to convert over there. Not quite enough. Timing could have been slightly better. But it's all right. It is still gymnasium in control. Vinduk High School ball. Gymnasium coming out of the, sec the first half with much confidence, much composure. They were losing the ball quite a lot in the midfield in the first half. Not sure what their coach told them, but it seems to really be working here for the boys. Oh, one has to mention that the lion's share 
of possession has been Vindok Gymnasium in this in this game. One wonders if their lion mascot might have rallied the fans in a way that transmuted the necessary energy to get the boys going. John Pedro, two goals. They call that Captain Fantastic. All right, so free kick, Vindok High School. Can they convert? Several boys in the box, counting about five blue shirts, four in the center, two at the wing. The ball comes in. He seems to have been going for a shot there, but the shot was certainly not going for him. Gymnasium ball. It's been an exciting match thus far. The first goal being scored by K. Uarukuyani from Vinduk High School, taking advantage of the number six's slight little faltering there. Perhaps his system was still rendering in the early times of the game. However, Vinduk Gymnasium managed to score two goals in the second half. First goal, a penalty. Second goal, fantastic conversion from John Pedro after an even more beautiful through pass. Got to love it. Ref, yellow card to the goalkeeper there. Discipline is necessary. Unnecessary delays will be called out. We understand it is a common strategy amongst football players. But the ref has to keep the, goal, the ball going. Gymnasium bringing the ball forward. Vinduk High School not quite composing themselves yet. Is that out for a corner? Yes, it is. Just over five minutes left in this game. Vinduk Gymnasium leading 2-1 over Vinduk High School. It is a Gymnasium corner. They have about five shirts in the box. More blue shirts. Slightly more height from Vindok High School. Can Vindok Gymnasium make this goal number three? Pedro crosses the ball in. And it is a goal. Is that a goal? No, that's not a goal. Ooh, close call. Offside there. That wasn't Pedro crossing the ball. Pedro was, however, ready at the tail end of the ball. Perhaps too ready. Gymnasium with the ball midfield. Bringing the ball forward. Vinduk High School needing to compose this ball. Is he going to bring it out? Not quite. It is a Vinduk Gymnasium corner. That was a brilliant kick from the lad. Let's see if this time the strikers and midfielders can convert. The ball comes in. Quite lofty in height. Gymnasium, sorry, Vinduk High School clearing the ball over there. Lots of ruckus in the central midfield. Still waiting for someone to emerge with dominant position. And it looks like the ruckus continues. We have a free kick. Gymnasium. Number four, rallying up the Vinduk Gymnasium fans <laughs> slash pupils. <laughs> Exciting times. One can only wonder what conversations are being had in that stand. I wonder what's happening on the high school social media. This ought to be a fairly big game. The ball's crossed in. Vinduk High School not quite going there. Vinduk Gymnasium, that looks like a late... Let attack. It clipped him on the ankle there. Referee is going to call the player in. Referee is going to call the player in. Have a couple of words with him. Yeah, definitely an unnecessary challenge there. Number two is going to bring the ball in. Gymnasium crosses. All right. Findok High School 
Goalkeeper clamping the ball with his hands. And the possession continues. Vindok High School as we swing over to the other side of the field. Now we have, uh, aside from injury time, we haven't gotten any notification of that. We've got about three minutes left on this game. There haven't been too many insane challenges. I don't think insane is the right word. There haven't been too many rough challenges. <laughs> there we go. I think rough is more apt a term to use there. So if there's any injury time, couldn't be more than two minutes. The ball's thrown in from Vindok High School. Not many blue shirts in the center. Gymnasium goalkeeper bringing the ball out. You'd think they may compose themselves a little bit, but it seems like they're going for goal number three here. Still playing with much energy, not letting a single second go to waste. Interesting challenge over there. He definitely pushes the lad to the ground. It's a gymnasium ball. Can they make this three? One feels like the spirits of Vindog High School are slightly gutted at this point in time. But of course, as we always say, the ball is round. Energy can pick up at any point in time. Vindog Gymnasium with the cross in. Nothing comes to fruition over there. Referee making a calling. Stopping play. Is it going to be a card? It's a stern warning. Referee, is he going to reach for his pocket? It's gymnasium ball. Vindog High School pupils seem to be quite displeased with that call. But the referee's word is final. As gymnasium in the last final minutes of this game, close enough to the final minutes at least, Gymnasium crossing the ball in. That looks like it was a handball. That definitely touched his hand. It's going to come out. Vinduk High School. Sorry, just a slight correction over there. We've got about five minutes still left of this game. Vinduk High School bringing the ball in. A little ambitious over there from the captain. A lot can happen in five minutes. There's a lot of protesting happening without the referee actually blowing his whistle. Continuing with play, Vinduk High School almost having a fruitful attack there, but the ball is brought out. Yellow card, red card. Vinduk High School is down to 10 men. That's a red card. We've seen a red card in this game. It's the first of its kind. Not sure why the players are continuing play without the referee initiating it there. There's going to be another card. That's another red card from Vindog High School. It seems like poor sportsmanship right now from the lads. Composure is needed. There's four minutes left in the game. A lot can happen in the football game. But however, you are down to nine men, Vindog High School. Skill and spirit is necessary. Free kick, Vindog High School, right at the edge. Yellow card for Gymnasium. It seems like all the cards are flowing, flowing at this point in time, and it happens. It's the end of the game. Nerves are everywhere. Free kick, Vindog High School down to nine men. Vindog Gymnasium still up 2-1. Can Vindog High School equalize and make this a game with about three minutes left? So the ball comes in. 
from the free kick. Not enough power behind that. <clears throat> Gymnasium attempting to bring the ball out. They may try to consolidate this win. Gymnasium crossing the ball in. Keeper gets his hands on it. Bringing the ball back up for Vinduk High School, the nine-man team. Two players with red cards. The coach will certainly be having some stern conversations with them after the game. Much more tension in the game right now. It's become much more physical. Understandable. Everything to play for. Interesting challenge over there. That's going to be a free kick. That's going to be a gymnasium free kick. Slightly late challenge over there on the midfielder. Just under two minutes left in this game. As Gymnasium prepares to cross the ball in. A red card. Another red card for Vinduk High School. That's from the captain. <sighs> Poor discipline there from Asha Wazenga. Seems to have been continuing chatting with the referee. And the referee has already shown with the previous red cards that he will not stand for it. Vinduk High School needing to show a lot of discipline and much more sportsmanship at this particular juncture. At least according to the referee, three red cards is never a good sign. One or two may be contentious. Look at the players over there telling each other the game still has to continue. This is not the time for disunity. Vinduk Gymnasium, of course, observing it is their game to win. 2-1, Vinduk Gymnasium, Vinduk High School needing a lot more discipline and a whole lot more spirit to see if they can equalize this game. Good footwork over there at the wing. Gymnasium bringing the ball forward with the captain, Pedro. Pedro continuing to keep the ball. Some good skills over there. Good skills there. One has to get the feeling that the boys are having fun now. Good play on the wing. Good play on the wing. Gymnasium maintaining possession. All the way. All the way into a throw-in. And the game belongs to Vinduk Gymnasium, the home team, scoring two goals coming from Captain Fantastic himself, Pedro. The first goal being a penalty, the second goal being a conversion after a fantastic through pass. Unfortunately, Gymnasium, not Gymnasium, Vinduk High School losing three players over there to red cards, ill discipline. Unfortunately, it cost them. However, all of the red cards came after the goals. Important to note that the red cards did not necessarily change the outline of this game. It had been decided by one John Pedro. As Vindic Gymnasium Pupos storm the pitch, their first team has taken this game. Vindic High School feeling a little dejected. Certainly hoping for a better performance next time. But this is a gymnasium game. Interesting somersaults over there. Gotta love high schoolers. Lots of energy. So, Finduk Gymnasium, Finduk High School Gymnasium taking it 2-1 coming from the back. Let's have a look at the goals from this game. The first goal coming from Finduk High School. That was Kai Urukuyani. Converting second time. Bottom left. Neat shot. Then John Pedro stepped up for the penalty. It was another beautiful goal. What a leader. John Pedro over there. That was the first goal for Vindic Gymnasium. Left side of the net. Taken with good skill. Now this was the second Gymnasium goal. Started off at the defense. He facilitates that and it is facilitated back. John Pedro one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. One defender coming to him. Not enough to stop him from bringing that beautiful, beautiful shot. 
Beautiful game. Vinduk Gymnasium taking it 2-1. Vinduk High School unfortunately losing three players to red cards. This has been the Inter High first team soccer team on NTV channel 285. We're going to go to an ad break at this point in time.
Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vindok High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May, where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vindok High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May, where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. So John Victoria's captain, it was a very competitive one, 1-0 one down at halftime, a great comeback in the second half. Yeah, it was a very tough game actually, um, we considered by a silly mistake which really put us down, but uh, after the halftime team talk, we showed that we should come out and we should play our football. Okay, where did you think that uh, you, you get the momentum back? Um, it was lots of territory advantage for them in the first half as well. But uh, was it when you got that penalty? Uh, yeah, it was the penalty. But because after the half time, we decided to come out and push the team and that we needed a goal. So we changed formation into a more attacking formation. So the penalty changed the whole momentum of the game and gave us the momentum to go on for the victory. Okay. And um, also, um, how many players um, will be available still next year? Do you have a strong team that's still oh, going to be available? Yes, we have a strong team available. Plus the under-17s coming up, they are strong as well. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just a last last word, maybe uh, just the preparation going into this one. Uh, there was limited time, uh, but it, uh, do you think it influenced you in the first half a little bit to settle down? Uh, but you got your feet in the second half. Yeah, we had to settle down first half. First half when we considered the game, considered the goal, most of us were down and we were... We weren't in the game, so we had to come back and we had to push. Lastly, just uh, uh, did uh, the lack of discipline on their side, three red cards, uh, and then in the end, did that surprise you? Uh, kind of, it did. I didn't expect three red cards. I expected one, because it's a very competitive game. We knew it was going to be a tough game, knowing each other from the other teams. So, yeah, I expected okay. at least one. Okay, but you as captain also know discipline is important. Yeah, very important. But sometimes players lose their head. It's, it's human to let their emotions come out. Okay. Thank you, John. Well done. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Okay, Asha, it was uh, leading one 0 at halftime. Uh, what happened in the second half? The second half, we I thought that my players 
they got too much confidence. Then they stopped playing. Now they started chasing instead of playing football. Then which we considered one more goal. Okay. And, um, also, the um, um, the discipline was a big challenge. Um, unfortunately, you yourself got a red card, but there's uh, other players that also got red cards. Um, how did that happen? Was the discipline a big challenge for you? It was it difficult to manage the discipline on the field? No, the discipline was there. We were just questioning the Mr. Rev on the unfair treatment that he is giving us on the pitch. And then when we questioned him, he did not even give us a warning on the yellow card instead of telling us that we should not talk to him. But I have the right to talk to him because I'm a captain. And then he just gave me a red card because I told him that he's playing unfair. Can we please get a fair match since we are the away home, our away team? Okay. In terms of, just a last question, in terms of the, the play on the field, um, uh, the momentum swift shift, uh, where did that happen? Was it with their penalty, when they got their penalty? Yes, when we got the penalties, I think that my team's confidence went low. That's when we considered the other second ball. And then we got three red cards, which was a very threat because now the pressure was on us. Okay, then it's two little players. But, uh, but still, um, it, uh, the, um, well done on, on competing. Um, it was a good first half. Uh, bad luck on the loss. And uh, you're going to be focused. You're going to be playing next year or you, uh, is it your last year? It's my last year, so I'll just be a supporter next year. Okay, but you can be mentor for them as well. Yes, sir. Okay, well done. Okay, back to the studio.
did you face? Um, we did practice, practice in Europe, we were actually a few of them. So some of the girls play indoor, but not all of them. So it was hard to play indoor now because we only practice few of them. So that was a challenge. What do you plan on doing different next year? I think we'll practice the indoor a bit more as well. And not just the field hockey because we didn't really know about the indoor game. But I think it will be a thing in that high for a long time now. So, I'm the coach of the Phoenix First Girls Hockey Team of Bindu Gymnasia. Mm -hmm. Alright ma'am, how did you prepare for today's game? Well, for today's game we had one practice session that was yesterday because um, the inter high actually, we, usually we play field hockey so we really had only one practice session. Mm -hmm. Alright, and what were your expectations before and after the game? Well, before the game, um, our, our expectation was to play as good as we can because mm -hmm. of the one practice session that we had. Mm -hmm. we, we wanted to score goals because that is usually what we struggle with and we got it right yes. this time. Right. Thank you very much, ma'am. So what did you do to prepare for today's game? Well, we just said we want to come out, have fun, um, just give it our all, so yeah. Yeah, and what are you going to do better that you didn't do today? I think like, um, we just have to keep backing ourselves. Mm -hmm. We did back ourselves today, but like sometimes um, we were let, um, a little bit doubtful of ourselves. But I feel like tomorrow we should just like um, keep believing in ourselves. Right. Thank you very much. Vintage Gymnasium. So the game went better than we expected. They brought a really strong team and a good fight. I'm proud of my team because they kept fighting and they kept showing up. So all in all, it was a really good time.
Um, I'm the boys first team hockey coach went to high school. My name is Johan Weyer. Tonight, that for the first time in the history that we started with the under 16 indoor um, inter-high uh, matches. Um, that is the first time that we do that. And um, thinking of COVID and the fact that the boys never boys under 16, it's the first time that they play the inter-high um, hockey games. This is the under 16 match tonight. Um, Inter High against Winter High School and Winter Gymnasium. Um, the side that I've got at the moment, very, very young side. We're developing, um, but very talented players. Um, and just to give them the opportunity to, to play and in um, fact of let the players enjoy after COVID and let them play hockey again. My name is Joshua Tim Jones and I'm the captain of the BIS Boys First Hockey Team. We come in here ready to play. Mm -hmm. We've been practicing now for months, gone to practice tournaments, everything. Mm -hmm. We're just here excited to play and show you guys what we can do. Yeah. Is this your first time playing hockey with a team? Um, with this team, yes. Mm -hmm. But we've been, I've been in the first team for two years now and mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and how have you prepared this time apart from the past two years? We've been practicing almost every day for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. We've done other tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Good evening, my name is Siaboma Martins. I'm the first team boys hockey coach and currently doing the under 16 development coaching as well. All right, so how has the team prepared for today's game? Look, it's our first, it's actually under 16, uh, it's a project that I'm starting this year, looking for three years going ahead. So, preparations, we have not done any indoor, but we've prepared for field hockey now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what are you looking forward to in today's game? Uh, what I'm looking forward to, look, we've, I've set out the principles and objectives mm -hmm. for the game. Mm -hmm. I hope the boys stick to it, but for them it's to have fun. You know, I have uh, five of them as first time indoor players, mm -hmm. so I think it's a great new experience for them. Alright, thank you very much. I'm Kiran Christ, the captain of the under 16 gymnasium team so obviously we expect to win this game so we but like we also want to have fun and enjoy the game so we're just going to go out there enjoy the game have fun and hope for a win okay